This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group, and we are seeing a continued extension of the rally today. Nice big rally, S&P's up about 20 points here, well above any of the support levels that we had been talking about. We talked about this bull case yesterday, how things are now starting to get in place. Earlier today, we saw Larry Kudlow come out late this morning, and that really seems to be what propelled the marketplace today. He came out, talked about the trade issues, the tensions with Canada, with Mexico, and really said it's not a trade war, they're more of negotiations, it's communication. And the market really bought into that, put risk on. We're seeing geopolitical risk also, probably at a, at a low point of what we've seen in the last few weeks or so, helping to fuel this rally, helping to put the risk on situation. Over, overnight last night out of Europe, we saw the ECB come out and said they may actually start pulling back on QE sooner rather than later, possibly as quickly as the next two weeks or so. So we saw bond, uh, bond rates go go up there and I think that's really what is affecting our two year, our 10 year here. We're seeing the two year at 252, the 10 year up at 296. In the option market here at the CME, in the S&P yesterday, about 350,000 options traded, 67% of them were puts. What was really interesting was a continuation of purchases of the June 2800 calls. Yesterday, over 8,000 of those traded, and that's on top of the eight or 9,000 that had traded just the day before. So certainly a bullish bias there on those calls. We'll see what happens with those. With volatility as depressed and down where it is right now, the option market here at the CME and the ES options are predicting a move of only about $13 between now and the end of the week and $30 going out to next week. Let's talk about Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin is in this, this lull that we have talked about. Very, very tight market. We're down about 100 points right now, trading around 7,500, but volume only about 1,500 contracts at this point. And we've talked about this recently, the lack of volatility. And in fact, volatility in the Bitcoin index is as low as it's been in well over a year. It's down about 2%. We're just not seeing the intraday movements. And today there was actually what I'd call some positive news coming out of the CFTC and some of the regulators talking about their commentary that Bitcoin is actually here to stay. So, you know, I would have thought that that would have propelled the market a little bit, but really right now there's just a lack of, of volume and maybe somewhat of a lack of interest until we see some other news coming out about some of the altcoins, some of the regulations for those. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.